Hi, my name is Darshal and I'm a product marketing team principal at Amplitude. Joining me is Brian Jory. Brian, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, thanks. My name is Brian Jory and I'm an engineer on the experiment team. We're excited to walk you through how you can implement Amplitude experiment in this video. We're going to go into code examples and show you a live working demo um, where we start without experiment being implemented and we go from zero to implementing a flag and then also using some advanced targeting logic. For those that are not familiar, Amplitude Experiment uses this concept of flags, also known as feature toggles or feature switches, that you can use to dynamically change uh, or turn on or off your product functionality for users that are or are part of an experiment, uh, whether in variant or control. Example of what you're going to go through in today's um, experiment implementation walkthrough. On the left, you have a dummy HTML website. And on the right, we have Amplitude's experiment UI, specifically a feature flag that I'm going to use to turn on a button that says explore the demo for my user when they're part of the experiment. And also change the color of that button from pink to blue remotely without having to go through uh, redeploying my code or going through app store changes um, and feature launches. And so how does that all that work? So on the right, I'm choosing a specific user ID, my user ID, who's now going to be included as part of the experiment. As I hit save and I refresh the button on the left, we're now seeing that explore the demo button has shown up for this user as they're part of an experiment. Now, at the same time, we want to use this concept of payloads to remotely configure the color of the button without having to redeploy uh, all our code from scratch. And so let's say I change the color from blue to pink. I'm making that change in Amplitude's experiment UI. And as I refresh um, on my uh, dummy website, I saw that color change remotely through that variable. Um, really briefly, let me walk through the code here. So this is down here is basically all of the code that um, powers this button changing. Uh, the first thing we do is basically set the button state uh, based on the sort of the initial state. The next thing we do is start the experiment SDK. And then once the experiment SDK is started, we reset the state to the variant for this flag. Um, and so when we're setting the button state, all we're doing is we're accessing the, the variant value. If we do have a value, then we set the visibility of the button on, and then we select the variant payload. If we do have a payload, then we set the button's class name to the, the, the class that's set in the variant payload. So uh, just to get started, uh, the steps we're gonna do for this uh, implementation is first we're gonna need to create a deployment, then we're gonna create a flag, then we're gonna initialize the experiment SDK, and finally we're gonna set up our payloads. So the first step is to create a deployment. Uh, so to create a deployment, just jump into Amplitude Experiment uh, and go to the Deployments tab. Uh, add a deployment for your project and give it a name. We're going to call this demo and click create deployment. So a deployment is basically your API key to initialize the experiment SDK with. Uh, any flags that are associated with this deployment will be sent uh, down to ex experiment SDKs that are used that are initialized using this deployment. The next step uh, is to create a flag. So to create a flag, go into our flags tab and select create feature flag. Uh, since we already have a flag named demo button that Darshal was using, I'm gonna name this one demo button two. Create that there. So now we have our flag, it's in an inactive state. Uh, what we need to do is add our deployment. So this is the demo deployment that we just created, hit apply and then hit save. Now this flag is deployed to our deployment. Now we're gonna activate the flag and add our user. And now we're going to save. All right. So now we, we have our flag all set up. The next step is to actually initialize our SDK. So to initialize the SDK, we're going to use a script tag. Uh, the script tag is useful for HTML sites like ours. So I'm going to copy it from the Amplitude Developer Docs uh, and paste it into our application. Um, and then what we also need to do is set the deployment key. So going here, we're going to copy the deployment key uh, that we used and paste it right there. All right. And 
And now when we save the page, uh, I'm gonna open up the preview here. And then the final step is to actually set the flag key. So in this case, our flag key is demo button two. Uh, I'm gonna save that and there's the demo button. So you can see here, this is currently unstyled. Um, so in order to actually add our style, we are going to use payloads to pass the CSS class from you know, the feature flag and, and use it to uh, style our button. So to do that, go back to your flag UI and click on your on variant. Uh, to add a payload, uh, you can go down here and we're gonna add a payload called class, field called class, and the field name is gonna be btn dash apply, save. All right, so now that's saved, let's refresh our application and our button is blue. So that's just a really simple way of getting started. Um, Please show the group uh, what that targeting might look like if you wanted to target, let's say, a specific uh, org or a specific um, uh, you know, user based on their property or their cohort membership? Yeah, for sure. So um, here, we're just gonna jump into this lag right here. And uh, instead of selecting all users, we can select targeted users. Um, and from within this, you'll see the uh, filter, and this should look very familiar if you're familiar with the amplitude. We can add filters for any of the properties within your project. This includes sort of the standard amplitude properties as well as custom user properties. Um, in addition, we can also target cohorts. So these are behavioral cohorts, such as, you know, who uses in the last 30 days or 14 day user retention. Um, and we can do this effectively to target specific users based on their behaviors that are that are done in the past. And then in addition to this, we can add more filters and say, let's target users only in, for example, the United States. And then we can set this you know, to 100% rollout. Oops. And, uh, and you know, this will basically turn the flag on for all of our active users in the last 30 days that um, you know, are in the United States. Super cool. Thanks for showing that. To try this on your end, use some of the linked materials and, and assets here um, and reach out to us if you have any questions uh, in getting started. Thanks for watching.